Hey guys, me again. We're going to talk about Baconian Cypher today because apparently I don't think every one of us is uh, perfectly clear on what it is or how we're going to crack the problems. So here's another info video on how to do it. Okay, so first thing first, uh, all of us should know by this point that Baconian Cypher is based on the binary system, but it's really kind of interesting because you're basically just transferring whatever you memorized for uh, the number equivalent of your letters into binary um, and then we do some encryption from there. So a very important skill to know, to learn, is to how to transfer binary numbers back into base 10 and I think that's where uh, some of us have trouble with. So here it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to skip, I guess, the mechanism of how it works and let's just go with how, how it works out, I guess. How to crack the problem. So here's um, five digits. So note that in code busters, every letter is going to be represented by five digits. Nothing more than that. And then nothing less. If there's less, there's just going to be zeros at the top front so that it's a little easier to decrypt. And then we're going to start counting from the right. And we're going to label um, this digit 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4. So each of these numbers represents a 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So if we were to have a number 10110, how we're going to transfer that back into base 10 numbers um, is you are going to, if there's a 0 at the spot, don't do anything with it. If there's a 1 at the spot, you're going to keep this number down, write it down, and then we're going to add them all up in the end, and then get a number. So for here, so we don't do anything to the zero, we put a two down here, there's a one at the third spot, so there's a four, we don't do anything to the zero, and there's a 16. So we add them all up, that gives us 22. So 10110 in base 10 is 22. Different from all the other ciphers is that it has two alphabet systems. Um, one, the traditional one, I don't know what it's called, I forgot, I think it's just called a Baconian alphabet, um, where I and J share the same code, and then U and V also share the same code. Um, there's also the one called distinct, where all the letters have uh, distinct codes. And then one common um, representation you might see is instead of one and zero, they're going to use A and B with A representing zero and B representing one. But that can all change um, with all the equivalents or whatever they tell you on the test. Um, and then the good thing about this here is that they're going to give you all the, um, I guess, the mappings onto, so like they're going to tell you that A is just a A, 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 and then whatever, all the, all the uh, mapping on codes, but it's also still nice to know or memorize it on your own so that you can have um, a faster speed when you're doing the problem.